Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on things I love about living in the UK or the best things about living in the UK. Some of you may or may not know I moved to Manchester from Australia about three years ago and I've lived in Manchester for three years now. So I've made tons of other videos on living in the UK, why I left Australia for England, all that sort of thing. And I really wanted to make this video to explain why I enjoy living in the UK and the best things about living in the UK. A lot of people ask me, why would you leave Australia to come here? And I always have lots of different answers because there is actually a lot of different reasons. And I'm never like bashing Australia and I never say like I don't like Australia or I wouldn't ever live there again. Like at this moment in time, I just really enjoy living in the UK for these reasons that I'm going to talk about in this video. You know, in the future, I might like living in a different country more um, because it suits what I want more, if you know what I'm saying. So that's why I thought I would do this video, just explain the reasons why. I live in the UK and the best things about living here that benefit me the most. So the first one is it's festive at Christmas time. That's just a, a little thing I really enjoy about um, living in England. This is not really a deal breaker or anything like that, but um, obviously coming from Australia, we are so used to it just being warm and it not really being super festive at Christmas time. I never really grew up with it being super festive. I don't know if other families in Oz are like that as well, but it's just a generally not like a really festive time compared to like England and Europe and the whole of December everyone's out and about everyone's out drinking having a good time it's just a whole different vibe to what I'm used to in Australia and I just really enjoy that and when I first came over here everyone was like oh my god how could you have a hot Christmas and I was always like well that's all I've ever known so I enjoy that but now I really understand number two is along with Christmassy winter time. There's prominent seasons in England. I just really enjoy spring, autumn, summer, winter, and it's like quite obvious in a way. Like, you know, it can snow in winter, it's freezing in winter, which obviously isn't the greatest, but you know, that's winter. It can be super beautiful and orangey and red when it comes to autumn like the colors are just amazing you know we have a little bit of a summer here as well and you know spring is really pretty as well like all the seasons are just like really pretty but I feel like now I've really experienced like proper seasons whereas in Perth it's just warm all the time yeah we get spring we get pretty flowers and stuff like that and you know when it is winter it does rain a lot and it's cold but it's not really like doesn't stand out as much as it does in England and now I feel like my favorite season is autumn because autumn uh, England in autumn and Europe in autumn is just amazing just such a pretty time of the year number three there is so many places to discover that are only like a few hours drive away or not even that 30 minutes drive away probably more so because I haven't explored a lot of England I guess because I'm new to the country but then again I've explored a lot more than some people who have lived here their whole life so I just feel like there's just so many places even just in a close proximity I'm from Perth and some of you may or may not know that is one of the most isolated cities in the world because it's so far away from any other city it's closer to Bali than it is Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra, the other cities in Australia. So when we want to go somewhere, everywhere's quite a drive. And like, you know, we've got the wine region in Perth down south, and that's a few hours drive, and we've got up north. But if you even want to go places up north, it could be eight hours. To, whereas in England, you can go to like Liverpool for the day, and it's only an hour's drive, and it's a completely different city. Or you can go obviously go down to London for two hours, train right away. And same with plane rides, obviously to Europe, it's so quick and easy. Number four is there's just a lot more opportunities here in regards to jobs that I'm sort of looking for I guess I don't know if because at the time when I was in Australia and I was looking for a job I was just sort of looking for an admin job because that's what I had experience in you know like I wasn't really overly fussed by the options that were out there and I feel like the opportunities here there's just a different opportunities I guess there's more opportunities when it comes to creative jobs and in future I really want to get a job in something that's quite creative maybe marketing social media content creation all that sort of thing and I feel like Perth or Australia maybe wouldn't offer me that many opportunities especially Perth. Number five is the local high street and the villages that we have here in the UK. I just really love that I feel like with Perth or Australia we're very much a bit more like an urban sprawl and we're a lot more like America in a way that we're just all very spread out suburbia and we have shopping centers and stuff like that whereas in England there's little town centers that have like shops and restaurants and then you know there's houses around that and then in the next sort of suburb over you could say there's another little town center and there's another little town center and like every area has its own little corner shop and like a little center some obviously are better than others some probably only have you know a news agent and a post office and like that's it and a fish and chip shop but there's lots 
lots of areas here that just have lots of restaurants and bars and shops and where I live I'm only walking distance to a little village like that and I just think it's great that I can just walk down there and there's like a bit of a community around here. Number six, I don't have enough hands now, is Europe's only a short trip away which I've kind of already touched on this but I guess like that was a huge reason why I wanted to move over here. I wanted to travel a lot more and a lot more often and a lot more cheaply. In Perth, you know, you save up for quite a long time, maybe you only go one, two holidays a year because it takes forever to get somewhere and it's more expensive. But here you can go on like multiple holidays a year, maybe once every two months if you wanted to to Europe because it's so cheap. So that is a huge reason why I moved here because I wanted to be able to travel more often and, you know, go on short breaks away every few months. Number seven is more so I guess Manchester in specific. So everything's just a lot cheaper here in Manchester when it comes to comparing it to London and Perth. London is more expensive. Perth is probably on par with London. Um, I didn't realize this until I went back uh, about a year ago to Perth how expensive it is. Number eight is I just love being able to get out and explore nature a lot more than I ever have before. I probably feel like if I went back to Perth or Australia, I probably would explore more and get out a lot more because I'm, I have changed as a person a lot when it comes to doing that sort of thing anyway. But ever since I moved to England, you know, people go for walks in the woods and go for walks and all that sort of thing. It's very much a thing here to go for a country walk. Whereas in Oz, you don't really do that, I think, because, you know, everyone just drives everywhere anyway. And it's just too hot. Like, you wouldn't want to go out for a walk because you'd be out in the hot sun and it's just a bit unbearable. Joel and I, when we went to Oz, last time my dad lives only 10 minute walk from mcdonald's so we're like oh yeah we'll pop down there get an ice cream and when we got back we were dying because we were just sweating because it was just like that's not a leisurely nice walk we've we've come back and now we're just dripping in sweat and we have to have a shower when we got back home because it was just too unpleasant like you might as well just drive <laughs> so i feel like i love how it's made me get out more and explore and get out in nature more number nine is the public transport's quite good here um, a lot of people complain about the Metro Link in Manchester, how it's shit, but coming from Perth, we have trains which are pretty, which are pretty much like the Metro Link here, like light to rail. It's just really convenient here, and maybe it's because we're not as spread out as Perth, but I just find the Metro Link really handy and really good, and everyone uses it here, you know, up until the late at night it's like a not a weird thing to use late at night whereas in Perth you wouldn't really get the train late at night like more of like a commuter thing if you were getting the train in Perth whereas here everyone uses the Metrolink on a night out you get it on the way back like it's, it's not unsafe at all and that concludes the reasons why I love living in the UK or the best things about living in the UK I hope this has also helped you if you're wanting to move to the UK or you just you know you're interested in that sort of thing giving you a bit of an idea of what it's like to live here and also I'll just mention because I live in Manchester in particular, the few things I really enjoy about Manchester is that it's just a bit more of a younger person vibe as well. It's it's small enough, like a community kind of feel. It's just a fun city to be in, but it's just not too big that it's like, you know, somewhere like London. Everywhere's walking distance or a short tram ride away. Obviously, I live in somewhere that's quite close to town, but for me, I can walk anywhere. I can walk the bus stops down the road, the tram lines. For me, it's a 10-minute walk. We're only 15 minutes from town, like everywhere's super accessible. I've never had to obviously use a car here. The good thing is Joel has a car, so if we do need to go for a big shop further away to Tesco, we can, but there is a shop down the road. And you know, if I wanna go on day trips and stuff, we drive the car, but like you can get trains and stuff all around England. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it's helped you if you're interested in moving. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you check out all my other videos about living in the UK and I make travel videos mainly as well. And I'll see you guys soon.